Hello YouTube, today I'm gonna do something very different, at least for me. I'm gonna do a music review of a song and uh, hopefully you'll like it. Now the song that we're gonna review is called In Love and it's a collaboration song between Prince Ital Joe and Marky Mark. I've been listening to it quite a lot until I started actually listening to the text and then like, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so here we go. Roses are red, violets are blue. Honey is sweet, but not as sweet as you. Oh my darling, I swim in the sea, climb every mountain to be next to D. Sexy girl, you know I travel the world, but you're nicer than diamonds and nicer than pearl. I travel the world, but you're nicer than diamonds and nicer than pearl. All for the sake of rhyming? Maybe. Alright. Yes, my honey, love eternity, your arm for loving is my destiny. And then there's a chorus uh, that goes in love, in love, I'm in love, which is really nice. It's, uh, they usually uh, use choirs for the chorus parts. Um, okay, second verse. Loving in the day, loving in the night, every little thing gonna be alright. Girl, your body, yes, it looks out of sight. I love all your pockets, you dance dynamite. Oh, God. So loving in the day, loving in the night, that's kind of like, oh, that's romantic stuff, you know? Everything's gonna be all right. What does that mean? Was there problems beforehand or is this like a girl who was in on a lot of things? But the solution then comes, girl, your body, yes, it looks out of sight. I love all your pockets, you dance dynamite. So oh, there you go, there's the solution, bam! Since that day I laid my eyes on you, August 27, 1992, you and your crew, but my love is true, girl, I really want to get right next to you. Okay, being a person who doesn't have English as a native language, this whole thing, I want to get right next to you, that, that means physically I want to stand next to you here, hey, 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 hey. Okay, so they met on August 27, 1992, uh, and his love is true, blah, blah, blah. And then we get to Marky Mark. Marky Mark has the last word. Okay, <laughs> you ready for this? Okay. Hey you, I've seen you at the show, but I want to let you know that I won't treat you like I treat every hoe. Cause you seem like the type that lives real hype. Got a good head so I treat you like a wife. But you gotta prove to me that your play's real. Don't want a quick groupie trying to make a quick steal. Cause I work real hard for the ends and the bends. I want good sex but I want a f best friend. Check, check. Alright, let's go through that again. Wow, 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 wow. Hey you, I've seen you at the show but I wanna let you know. I've seen you at the show but I wanna let you know. So probably there was something on in the show that didn't reflect what he was actually thinking. That I won't treat you like I treat every hoe. Classy man, that is classy. I say classy. <laughs> Seem like the type that lives real hype. Alright, works. Got a good head so I treat you like a wife. What does it mean that she's got a good head? Is she smart? Does she have a, like a very well-sized head? Is it a verb? So I treat you like a wife. So what we're trying to understand here is in what way is it different when it's a wife or it's a hoe? Maybe he cherishes the marriage thing more, I don't know. But you, but then it comes with the demands, but you gotta prove to me that you won't be a groupie and make a quick steal. Mm-hmm. Cause I work real hard for the ends and the bends. Nice rhyme there. I want good sex, but I want a best friend. <sighs> I really like some of the stuff they've been doing before, but this is so weird. Roses are red, violets are blue. I want a wife with a good head that doesn't steal. What do you think?